What is up YouTube? I'm back with another video. I know I've been gone for a while, but I'm back with another video. Today, we're gonna be talking about a little bit of uh, money. So uh, stay tuned, watch the whole video. Um, it's gonna be interesting for those of you who are going to college or in college or looking for a way to make money in college. This is how I arguably make thousands in undergrad per month. Just, you know, um, don't have to punch a clock, don't have to do anything illegal either. So this is all 100% legit. Um, Basically, uh, we're gonna start off with the intro of why this video. So a lot of people, they ask about like, how do you make money? How can you make money in school without having a job? You know, having a job is kind of demanding on your time. You know, you got all kind of, uh, you know, social events, you got uh, maybe sports or you have anything that you want to get into. And then having a job is kind of a stress stressor on that. So if you have a way to make your own money without depending on a the job, then that is a, definitely a good way to, uh, you know, get through school. Um, uh, why this video i would definitely suggest everybody um find your own you know niche or your side hustle as you know as early as possible your freshman sophomore year because um when you when you go through you know your first you know few months to a year you're not going to be as good at whatever your craft is minus photography as you see but you're not going to be as good as you think to where you're going to just be making a lot of money unless you know it's something that blows up kind of fast um on top of that, once you find your, you know, your little, whatever you're gonna do, start to build that brand and you, you might not have to charge as much or do it for free, honestly, when you starting out to learn and, you know, get your clientele up and get your name out there. So when you're starting up, you don't, don't expect to make a lot of money because it's probably not gonna happen like that. Um, but uh, that first year is gonna be kind of like your, the year to, to set, to make your mark. So then come your sophomore, maybe into sophomore, junior year, people on campus will know what you do. They know exactly like what you do and depending on if you're good or bad on it, they'll know if they want to go to you or not whenever they do need that service. So, um, for example, if I walk, you know, somewhere, people know, okay, he takes pictures. People know the photographers on campus. People know the people who cut hair. People who know, people know the people who, you know, do hair, who braid hair, sew-ins, lashes, lip gloss, all that stuff. So everybody, like a lot of people on campus have their own ways of making money and uh they don't really have anybody to like you know really just kind of encourage them to get into their own uh stream of income but that's why i'm making this video so next uh the beginning to now i originally started photography in high school i went to a school of the arts in cleveland cleveland school of arts csa um basically we had majors uh you know art dance drama orchestra band uh Whatever, what else? A choir, all that kind of stuff. But my major was photography. So we, you know, took two hours a day, go to our major class for block or whatever. And we did all, learned all about, you know, photography stuff. So that's where it started. Um, this was freshman year in high school. So after that, I didn't really do photography. I still had the skills, but I never took it seriously. Then I um, got to college, freshman year, sophomore year, never really touched it. But then I think towards the end of sophomore year, I was like, maybe I should get a camera. So I got a camera, um, a, like a, a smaller, I'll get it right now, hold up. This was the camera I bought, uh, or I think my mom bought it, whatever. Uh, it was a T Canon T6, got it just like a little, you know, um, starter camera to get back into photography or whatever. And uh, it's been one of the best decisions I've made here, money-wise. Uh, so this kind of got me, you know, I had it for a little bit, started up, you know, taking regular pictures. And then it died again. Um, I don't know why really, but after that, I don't know, something sparked and I was like, I need to start taking this more serious. So I started investing in equipment, um, some, you know, studio lighting equipment. So I got some, you know, some cheap uh, lights off Amazon, like a little backdrop stand, some paper, all the basic stuff that you need to take like studio type of pictures. Uh, but after that, um, I just kind of, Play with it. I, uh, you know, did little free shoots for people here and there. I did what I had to do for fun, and then like uh, over time, you know, the, the quality starts to improve dramatically when you, you know, invest in equipment. So as I, you know, went from this camera to this camera, it's the, the quality and picture between these two is like, you know, boom, boom. Um, but basically, you know, you you have to invest in yourself when it comes to these uh, self-ran businesses to make money. You can't do the bare minimum or get the bare minimum and expect for, you know, 
top-notch clientele and all these numbers will be rolling through. It's not gonna happen. So over time, with investments into yourself and your brand and marketing yourself, you will see the you know the improvement. I will put a picture before and after this. So one picture is gonna be over here with the T6, this T6, and the other picture is gonna be over here, like a more recent one with my uh, 5D Mark II. Um, but one importance, kind of, this is gonna kind of go into pros and cons. The importance of having your own, you know. Uh, way of making money and pros and cons it'll be the kind of the same thing but to me some of the important things are like you don't have to depend on some people depend on their parents you can like, take that stress off of them if you can make your own money and survive you know away from home and do your own thing uh, then you have uh, basically the freedom to do what you want on your own time so I haven't worked in a little while because honestly working like a, a retail job or something it's just not for me because i have stuff that i want to do and being on a schedule and they say you got to be here you can't go like no you got to request off to do what you want to do to live your life you're like we're 20 21 22 whatever and you have to ask somebody to go do what you want to do with your life and it, it just doesn't click uh sit well with me so um working has never been a problem for me but why not make your own money and not have to report to anybody that's kind of my, my uh mindset when it comes to it so you make your own money you don't have to report to anybody you can do what you want you can travel when you want you make your own schedule so if you can't if you don't want to work or you don't want to do anything this day you don't have to you can tell your client i'm you know i'm not you know doing anything today so you can book another day of the week if they really want it they're going to come back you're going to book you for whatever time you're available um but don't you know you don't have to take that over the top and just you know just be unprofessional you do and you are you know providing a service to the public so it will be in your best interest to you know work with your clients as well so they don't have to go out of their way or you don't have to go out of your way but moving on some of the cons who it is definitely definitely stressful when it comes to dealing with certain you know personalities you deal with a lot of different personalities when you uh, offer a service you don't know who's going to come to you from where what backgrounds and some people expect just one thing some people expect one thing and it just you have to be really flexible and uh you know open-minded when it comes to dealing with uh, this this many people different type of people so um one major thing i would say uh one of my line brothers actually uh brought this idea brought, well brought this to my mind as well that i mean i knew it before but to put it into words is that people don't really respect your time when you do this type of thing um you know people they like to run late they like to be like oh i'm just a late person but when it comes to somebody's business there is somebody you know you never know what's going on so with that person so like if somebody if i'm doing a shoot and i have you booked for this time to this time and you show up halfway through your time slot and expect to have like you know an additional time there's somebody you know most likely booked after you so um it's kind of hard when people don't really understand that they're not the only person that you you know you're providing a service for and um that could be the same thing with hair you know uh nails um whatever your you know little hustle is going to be um i would urge you to start early and get you know maybe a, a contract or a policy that you have your people sign so they are aware upfront of, you know, late, being late, rescheduling, canceling, um, late payments, all that kind of stuff. Just get that upfront and um, uh, put it on the table out front so they don't know, so they know what exactly to expect when that, you know, something does come up and they're, you know, 45 minutes late and you got somebody, you know, right after them. So that's that. Uh, Money-wise, Okay, so we're gonna get a little bit into my business. I don't really, you know, it is what it is. Uh, people need to know this kind of stuff, you know, motivation-wise and information-wise, because um, this, you know, photography, it could be one, you could be one way or the other. A lot, some photographers, they do a lot of free work. Some photographers do a lot of clientele work. But for me, um, since it has gotten to the level of where I can, you know, um, really chill, job wise and just do this for my income well main source of income besides you know air force or whatever let's put it like this we're gonna start from scratch boom so we have this month right on average a month i'll put some of the numbers up in here somewhere but on average a month i would have no anywhere from between really in the last few months like five to six months 
I'll have anywhere between 15 to maybe 20, 25 shoots a month. And that's, you know, all kinds of stuff. Birthdays, you know, events, birth, like birthday parties, birthday, you know, photo shoots. Um, what else? Uh, campaign pictures I've been doing recently. Graduation definitely is a big time. Uh, you have businesses that want like headshots. They want, you know, merchandise pictures of their, you know, clothes, boutiques. Do all of that kind of stuff. Um, you know, sports, all everything. So it's a, a wide range of things that I do shoot. So when it comes to charging for those, um, on average, a shoot is about 175, you know, per shoot. That's my, my price now. Now, when I started out, it was like maybe $60 a shoot. And that was because I was using this camera. You can honestly can't expect too much out of it when you, you know, know that you're not offering the top, like that quality work for that price, you know what I mean? So when I switched, when I when I invested in another camera, that was another eight or nine hundred dollar camera, uh, lenses, uh, um, strobes, those are like two, three a piece. Uh, you got speed lights, that's another three hundred. You got you know a little a fifty millimeter, that was a couple hundred. But just all kind of stuff that you invest in, and with that comes investment in your price. So that obviously, I mean investment into your um, equipment. So that means your prices are in, or you know, your prices will, and they don't have to, but they should probably go up to kind of, uh, you know, reflect that, you know, leap in your business or whatever. But, um, so back to my monthly, you know, income or whatever, from photography, I would say about, you know, anywhere from, it's, it just depends on the month, honestly. My grad season and in the spring, I've been going, I'm on average around like 20 to 25 a month. And at 175 a month, you can do that math. I'll do it right here and then put it on the screen. But 175 times 20, boom. That's 3,500 a month. Uh, not all that is pocketed, obviously. You got, you know, rent for the studio. We got all kind of other bills. You travel, you do whatever. But um, just for, to make the point, of why I'm you know, making this video and encouraging people to get their own income or their own source of income that they can you know, make their own money. So say $3,500, we're gonna divide that by, that's, that's in a month obviously. So divide that by uh, the average job, they'll probably make like 825, so divide that by 825. So that'll be 424 hours for the month to get to 3,500. All right, so that's 424. A month so divided by four four weeks in the month 106 hours you have to work 106 hours per month I mean per week to get to 3,500 a month basically and those 20 shoots probably take me less than 20 shoots times about mm, an hour an hour maybe an hour and a half I'll do an hour and a half just that's 30 30 hours out of my month that I'm technically working um, obviously that's not including editing and the behind the scenes work, but, um, 30 hours versus, uh, whatever that hundred and whatever, 106 for a week, I would much rather take my, you know, also the 106 hours is not including taxes. So you're going to actually be a little bit working more than 106 hours to get to that $3,500 mark working minimum wage, obviously, and we're not even minimum wage, but working, you know, eight twenty five. Um, job so with that said it's pretty self-explanatory uh, working for yourself honestly is the best uh, way to go when you're in undergrad it gets you you know it might not be the fastest you know startup but once you get rolling and your people know who you are on campus and you have that name on your that that field on lock in your uh, in your school or city it's no no limit to where you can go with like photography videography um people make beats people you know uh whatever what else braid hair do sew-ins make wigs color wigs all kind of stuff people can do to make money especially in you know the hbcu community um it's just a lot of entrepreneurs entrepreneurs everywhere and that kind of is is good because we can all learn from each other and it's also good that you can you have other people that's doing the same thing, so it pushes you to get better and you know um, grow in your whatever field or service that you provide. 
So to wrap things up, um, I'm just gonna say a quick little, you know, start early. It's never, it's never too late to start, but please try to start early, you know, freshman, sophomore year. I started my junior year, so I mean, just imagine where we could be if I started my freshman year. Um, and you know, don't be scared to take that leap of faith and just go off, go all out, and you know, start up what you really want to do. Um, I know when I first started, I think I maxed out like one, maybe two credit cards on equipment just because I'm like, um, it's got to get bought, honestly. And I mean, it wasn't just top notch equipment, but it was equipment to get me started. And from there to now, it's just it's crazy how how far that you know how far you come when you just take that leap. And I'll put, again, I'll put some pictures uh, before and after, some side-by-sides, uh, and you can kind of see that um, it doesn't, you know, just happen as soon as you get the thoughts here. Like, as soon as the thought comes. I know in the course of a year, the, the good growth was, you know, exponential, and I just want everybody to get out there, you know, take a leap, do what you want to do, and make your own money. I can't stress that enough. Uh, it'll be one of the best decisions that you can make, you know, financially for, you know, being in school and, you know, undergrad and, you know, trying to do something creative with your time, basically. But that's all I have. Uh, stay tuned, like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, share it with your friends or whatever, whoever want to learn how to make some money or needs, you know, just a little motivation to go and jumpstart their next, you know, money move or money, whatever. Uh, and that will be the end of this video and I'm gone.